Hello and welcome. Thank you for viewing this educational segment presented by Buying Behavior Metrics. I'm your host, Martin Smith, author of The New Exhibitor and The New Lean Six Sigma Orange Belt for Exhibitors. These and other exhibiting tools are available on our website at bbmgo.com. Please go to the site and make use of the tools. You will find them to be extremely valuable in implementing and improving your exhibiting and event purchase experience. Welcome. In this lesson, I will introduce another tool that is relevant to the implement phase of the DMAIC process. This is the FMEA or Failure Modes and Effects Analysis tool. So let's get started. Failure Modes and Effects Analysis or FMEA is a tool set that allows exhibitors to look at the design elements of a process, compare them against the potential ways that the elements could fail to deliver value, and rate them. Items are rated on three criteria. For each failure type or mode, a severity rating, frequency rating, and detection rating is allocated. These three numbers are then multiplied together to tabulate a RPN or risk priority number. Consequently, items that have a high RPN are critical failure modes that happen often and are undetectable until it's too late. These would be items that demand some sort of corrective action or process steps to ensure that they are averted. These are also items that the work should be directed at first in order to keep the attendees and staff from harm. Once actions are taken to diminish the failure modes, the items are reassessed for severity, frequency, and detectability, and the cycle is repeated. The FMEA is typically used in conjunction with the process map to identify and remove defects and failure modes. The FMEA starts by using the outputs, the little y's or big y's, which are the deliverables from the process map. The process map should have the steps that encompass the show activities. In our example above, step 110 has an output of an assembled sample pack. So you begin by asking yourself, what are the process steps? Having selected a specific output, you would now move to identify the functional activities from the process map that occur in order to deliver this output. From there, you would ask questions like, what is the opposite of these activities? and or what is the lack of accurate completion or untimely completion of these activities. That will direct you toward the effects of failure. This describes what the potential impact of the failure modes is on the attendees or staff. At this point you would take the severity table and after reviewing the criteria you would ask yourself how severe or bad would it be for attendees or staff if this failure mode occurred. You're going to rate that on a scale of 1 to 10, and that number gets inputted into the severity column. Next, you look at the causes of failure. These are the mechanisms that could potentially cause the defect or error to occur. You would then make your second assessment rating, which is the frequency rating. This is an indication of the amount of time that you believe this defect would occur on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 meaning it almost never happens, 10 meaning it's going to happen all the time. Exhibitors make this assessment using the frequency table and then place the appropriate number in the frequency column. From here, the exhibitor identifies the process controls. These are the current steps in place to avert the failure from occurring. At this point, the final rating evaluation is done by assessing the ability of the system to detect the failure prior to it occurring. To complete the FMEA, the RPN or risk priority number is calculated by multiplying the severity times their frequency, times the detection. The higher the RPN, the more risk is associated with this defect. The maximum possible RPN is 1,000. A rating of 1,000 would mean that the process fails every time, and when it fails, it is catastrophic, but the failure isn't noticeable until after it has occurred. The FMEA rating system allows exhibitors to identify several things, including the ways the process fails to deliver a great purchase experience for attendees, or the effects of defects and errors on attendees, or the likelihood of an error to occur, or even the ability to detect these errors before they happen. It will also allow exhibitors to make decisions on what items to work on first. Typically, anything that is a safety issue and endangers people, whether they're attendees or process partners, should take top priority. At the end of the day, the FMEA or Failure Modes and Effects Analysis is such a powerful tool that it could save not only the lives of your attendees and process partners, but maybe even your own life. Congratulations on completing this lesson. 
As with all the other tools, there are examples available on the website, so please take advantage of that. In conclusion, allow me to thank you for your time in reviewing this material and for your interest in buying behavior metrics. It is our sincere desire to provide valuable offerings to help exhibitors create worthwhile purchase experiences and ultimately maximize their ROI. Please go to our website and explore all the online tools available at bbmgo.com. Thank you.